Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, two things I want to bring up before we start the video is one, do you guys care about me using a full team like this in regards to testing out one card? Please answer that in the comment section down below. If you guys want me to use more generic players to test out the one card, let me know. For me, it honestly doesn't matter because you could still test and see if that one card is good or bad, right? So that's the first thing I want to say. The second thing I want to say is, guys, if you guys watch player reviews from me, I will not force the ball to the person. Even if that's what people want to see, I won't do that because honestly, that's not the way you test out the cards. The way you test out the cards is you need to notice the on and off the ball movement. If that's good, that's the only thing that I genuinely care about, right? But other than that whole little spiel right there, I want to say a big thank you to Chak again for letting me use his account for these player reviews because this is the account that I was doing it on. So again, just let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think in regards to me using teams like this, but obviously I can't really get a team like this myself, so I appreciate him giving me his account. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be trying out Prime Essien's card today. The reason why we're trying out this card is because he is one of the icon swaps uh, that you can unlock, right? So we're looking at someone with high, high work rates, five foot, 10 height, right footed with a four star weak foot, okay? So with all that being said, with his attributes, we're looking at very good pace with a shadow. He's basically essentially got like amazing pace. Uh, we're looking at great uh, defensive stat increases. We're looking at great physical stats that are already there. Dribbling stats are already pretty decent considering he's a CDM. He's got good passing stats. The only thing that's lacking on the card is obviously the finishing. And no matter what anybody tells you, at some point in the game, especially since this card is a high, high work rated player, He'll get into a position where he's going to have to shoot. And, you know, with 68 finishing, it could be a problem from time to time, right? But he is a person with high, high work rates. In Chak's team, he does not have a player with medium high work rates. And I really am the type of person that believes that a, a person in your team is going to play well in the CDM position accordingly to the other person in your squad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out Rude Hullet in this team and we're gonna put Conte in the team, okay? Just a regular Conte with a shadow card. We're gonna go ahead and show you the custom tactics that we are going to be using. I'm gonna be using his generic 4-2-3-1 because it looks like a decent 4-2-3-1 that I would use myself, right? Uh, Kakao will be playing in the middle, Dog Leash on the left, Johan Cruyff on the right, Michael Essien not gonna be playing in the right center defensive mid position. He did that because he was using Rude Hullet, but like I said, I don't I don't like the bounce between Rude Hullet and Essien. That's not something I'm gonna enjoy in game. So I wanna have that medium high work rate player so that the balance between the CDMs together is a little bit better. Zambrota, Ferland uh, Mendy, and so on and so forth. So uh, this, I'm not gonna use this. It's just gonna be these, this four, two, three, one right here. So we're gonna go ahead and go into a game right here. Again, let me know what you guys think when we using these types of cards uh, to, to test out the cards. I'm going to be nasty with this team, so just letting you know. But uh, yeah, let's get into a game. Oh, beautiful movement. Kaká's going to make that run right there. Boom. Oh, still going to get it. I like to do the drag back, go back in, because it kind of like opens up the space a little bit better, because it puts them into the position for the finesse shot. So a little goal right there. Nothing to say about SCN so far. It's been like four minutes. Yeah, so I'm noticing that, like, the difference so far is you need the medium high, man. I, I just, I, the way he had, like, Hullet and, uh, the way he had, like, Hullet and what's-his-face there, I just don't think that's the it factor. I just don't think that's the it factor. Like, I, I feel like they're better positioned right now, uh, playing the way that they are with the medium high and the high, high work rated players. Because I, a high, high, I don't even remember what Hullet is. I think he's, like, a high medium or something, and then... It's just not, I don't know, it's just not an ideal situation in my opinion. Oh, beautiful goal there. So this is what it's like to use a full meta team, eh? It's, 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 it's pretty nice. <laughs> Great off the ball movement there. Oh man, I, <laughs> I don't know. This is a little bit too much. Can't even test Essien because these cards are these cards are too good. 
All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and nerf the team a little bit because that was a little bit too much. Uh, <laughs> we're going to use the exact same tactics because uh, whoever George is, if you're a pro player, my dude, you got the right tactics. Because that 4 2 3 1 was freaking moving, my dude, okay, with those instructions. Um, but we're going to go ahead and change some of these guys here so that we can actually test out. We need to be able to lose the ball here and um, test out what Essien's like off the ball movement wise and all that kind of stuff, right? So this is how we're going to be lined up in game. Uh, the defenders are still going to be the same. We just got them there for chemistry links and whatnot, but the attackers we're going to nerf a little bit just so that we can lose the ball. And then we want to see what the transition's like with having a medium high work rate player and a high high work rate player next to him. So we're going to go ahead and try that right now. Now it's Usman Dembele. Nice goal there, nice goal there. Keep it rolling, keep it going. Here's Conte. Benzema. Little shot across goal. Good finishing of Benzema. Okay, so so far with, with Essien and the team, I'm going to say right now that he's... I like his off-the-ball movement with Conte. I think that's like the biggest thing with the card, right? I will say right off the bat, though, ladies and gentlemen, he... For me personally, he doesn't feel like a pro player meta card. So considering the fact that he is one of the, uh, he's one of the biggest ones. Like I know that people they gave like Patrick Vieira, but that Patrick Vieira is not the good Patrick Vieira. Like that's the baby card's actually really garbage to be honest with you, um, in my opinion. But the thing about Michael Essien's card is that his movement off the ball with with Conte is very good. The medium high work rates on the card with Conte, uh, with high high work rates on Essien is a very very good balance that's exactly what you want to have um for your cdms you want the movement off the ball while defending to be good so you can see their positioning right now is kind of like in a line right and you know his transitioning into play is pretty solid too that's just weird defending in fifa 20 but uh his transition into play is very good because he obviously has pace and his agility and balance is not too bad so he does get into the play quite quickly right but you can see right there you can see right there that the two CDMs, like I said, are really well positioned with each other. So that's the main thing you got to look for when it comes to your CDMs and whether, you know, if they decide to push up, what they're like tracking back, right? So. His tracking back was kind of lazy right there. He's kind of like just like jogging back a little bit. But obviously he has a physical presence, so that's how he's going to win the ball like that. Chong with the finish. There it is. Mm, not a good tackle there with Essien. I don't like those specific tackles. Those ones where like they kind of like go over the ball. Like that's why I'm saying like Longley and um, it, it was Longley and somebody else. This guy wants to quit. It was Longley and. Um, who was the other person that when I was reviewing them, they had those specific tackles that I really, really liked. I forgot who it was. But that tackle where they kind of like go over the ball, I'm not necessarily a fan of. So far, he's not really impressing me, to be honest with you. Like, I like N'Golo Conte. N'Golo Conte is just an absolute monster. But N'Golo Conte's positioning on and off the ball, if N'Golo Conte has attacking presence, his card would be disgusting. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, Michael Essien, he's not really impressing me so far. I'm really not liking Essien in the team. I I I, I don't know. He, there's something about him that I'm just not liking right now. A little bit lucky with the touches right there. I don't know, guys. I I I'm gonna tell you this right now, man. I don't think it's worth getting his card, especially since he's what 24 icon cards, like. He's good, guys. Like, listen, he's better than my William Carvalho when I'm using him in the Portuguese team. But if I'm going to grind for 24 icon cards, like, no thank you, bro. Like, it's just not... The way he's the way he's playing, he just feels very generic, you know? Like, it's just a weird thing. Like, honestly, my William Carvalho can play very similar to him. It's, that's how generic he feels in game. He doesn't feel special, right? Like, dude, when you use someone like N'Golo Conte, right? You can feel him being like a special card, right? Now, obviously, is Essien a physical beast? Yes. Uh, you know, can he open up the space for you? Yes, blah, blah, blah. But generally speaking, it's just... I don't know, man. It, it just... I, I'm looking at it from a perspective of is it worth grinding for 24 of your icon cards to get the card? I don't think so. He's not that special, in my opinion. Um, I, think that, I think a lot of people are going to disagree with that for sure, but... 
He just, he feels like a very generic card, right? Like, it's a card that will play in the CDM position really well for you, of course. Um, you know, he's got the physical presence, he's got the defensive presence. It's just that he doesn't have that factor where it's like, yo, I'm definitely going to do 24 icon cards to unlock this thing, right? Like, it's, it, he doesn't have that, like, thing with me. Maybe I'm also looking at it more from a complete meta perspective as well, because complete meta perspective, like, I don't see any pro players using this card. I, I, I genuinely don't. Um, he just doesn't seem to be doing it for me. Um, I don't know, it's just... Like, again, like I said, his, uh, if I'm looking at him from, from, like, a regular perspective, defensive presence is good, physical presence is good, off-the-ball movement is good. 24 icon tokens good I, I i don't think so man guys f final verdict on the card i'm gonna be honest with you guys man i don't think this card's special at all i i'm gonna be dead serious with you guys you guys know how i was using that full icon team in the beginning dude is it like i i don't know if it's because i play fifa a certain way or whatever it is my dudes but i'm telling you man I don't need i don't need more than one game to test out a card i really don't when i had that full meta team I even felt that he was the nuisance in that whole entire team that I had. Even when I put Conte on the pitch, I felt like he was the nuisance on it. When I gave him the ball, I felt like the off the ball and the on the ball movement, something was off, you know? So I was like, oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe I can't tell this card because this team is too god tier, right? The off the ball movement and then the attack is like too good. So I switched the team to, to have a lower, a lower tiered squad. And guys, like I switched the team to this and... I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. He's very disappointing. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. He's one of those cards that I'm very disappointed in. Is he good in game? Yeah, he's good in game. Absolutely. But I'm going to be dead serious with you guys. My William Carvalho can play similar to this card. I'm not joking. Like, you know how I'm like, oh, William Carvalho is a nuisance, but William Carvalho is usable? This card's usable, of course. Right? But... He just didn't do it for me, man. I'm, I'm honestly, like, I'm, I'm really disappointed in him. I really thought that he would have been better. But he, he just didn't do it for me. I don't know. I, he just felt like a nuisance in the team. You know how I put N'Golo Conte in the squad? When you put N'Golo Conte in the squad, you know he's in the squad. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a beast. He's an absolute god-tier monster. Essien should feel the same. He should be like, yo, it's a prime Essien. When I put him on my team, he shouldn't be a nuisance. He should be like, yo, like this guy around other players should feel like a god. But guys, I put him around god players. He felt like the only nuisance in the team. I put him in my regular team, and N'Golo Conte was still outperforming him. I don't know, man. I, I, I gotta be honest, I'm very disappointed in this card. Even if you slap a shadow on him, I would not recommend getting it, guys. I would stay away from this card in regards to your icon swaps. If you guys are going to grind 24, 23 icon swaps to get this card, or what, I don't remember how much he is. I think he's like 22, 23, something like that. I personally do not do not recommend it. Chak was telling me in the DMs, because he was like, yo, try out Essien, because I want you to see if you like him or not. I'm like, oh, dude, you know, maybe it's because of the other CDM you had, because of Rude Hullet in the squad, right? He just didn't do it for me, guys. Chak was saying the same thing. He said he's going to sell him, because he, he didn't like the way that he played. And honestly, I agree with him. I... He's so generic. He's so generic. That's the really disappointing card. But hey, that's what the player reviews are for, right? To let you guys know whether the card is worth getting or not, right? So that's one of the top three uh, down. So now it's two guys. Two guys left. Two guys left, all right? So it's Ronaldinho and Del Piero for the top dudes, you know? So we'll see if we can get some reviews for that. But the Estian really let me down, guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the player review. We'll get some more Prime Icons or... Some more player reviews out in a bit, all right? Love you guys. Peace out.